So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is if you're searching for a role, if you're searching for an opportunity, where are you going to find it? Right. And this session is not about some quick fix way that, you know, I know some specific trick from where you can find a role and others will not be able to see that role or anything of that sort. But this is more of taking your entire career as a marathon exercise, right? Making it a part of your life, making your work a part of your life, because almost one third of your life is going to be your work, right? And about one third, you're going to sleep. So, so that one third component of your life where, you know, you work from where you make your living. And of course, I think you have a lot of meaningful relationships. It, it, it adds a lot of purpose to your life as well, right? But for most of us, in fact, unless you, you are some, you're one of the person who absolutely hates what, uh, what, what they're doing, it adds a lot of sense of meaning or purpose to our lives, right? The way I'm sitting right in front of you guys and, you know, it, it doesn't matter like if I'm going to discuss with my friends who are, who are my colleagues in IITs, they're going to be like, okay, hey, what the hell are you doing with your life, man? You know, you're, you're doing these sessions and you just had four or five participants coming in and what the hell are you doing with your life? You should be doing something completely different and you should be doing something a lot more uh, impactful and things of that sort. But then when I look at it, I have a sense of purpose because I feel that I can truly influence four people's or five people's career out here. And of course, I, I am willing to run that marathon. And that's the key point that I want to bring here, right? That it's, it's, it's not about, it's not a quick race, right? It's, it's not a hundred meter race, your profession. So what you need to do, many times I see people that, you know, they, they desperately want to just get a job in a month somehow. But their whole purpose of doing something is that, okay, how do I get a job quickly? Now, what people or many of the people are like, you know, I want to become rich and successful right away. And they're focusing completely on uh, trying to achieve uh, that thing, but they're not understanding the point that who they need to be to achieve whatever they're trying to achieve, right? Like what is that individual who's, who can have all of those things, right? So when, when, when you, when you say that you want to get a role in data science and I am an employer and it's a very basic, a very common sense fact I'm talking to you about, right? That you come to me with a role with, with the, uh, with an application, right? And I, my firm has a role and it's like a really, really highly paid role. Let's assume, right? And I'm trying to, I, I, I invite you and you send me your resume. Now in your resume, do you think that in today's world, and if it's like a, if it's not like a very basic role, or if it's, uh, uh, if, if it's like a really, really important role, do you think that in today's world, you can just fool someone off your resume? Like you can just send your resume, uh, try to show uh, 10,000 things on your resume and without having a trace on the internet about any of those things, do you think Actually, it, it, it is very easy for someone to believe that. Or rather, let me put it in a different way. Do you think that all the things that you talk about in your resume, right, rather than trying to show someone how passionate you are about data science or how much you like solving problems, don't you think that rather than trying to justify how much you like solving problems, it is much easier if uh, they see it on your profile itself, right? Not in terms of, no, not, not that thing written there that I am really passionate about, but they see that on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, you have been a consistent individual in terms of your uh, exploration of data science and applications of data science and topics related to it. And you've been, you've been interacting with people in the same community and you're trying to at all the time uh, learn something extra in, in, in this field. Don't you think it will become a lot more simpler this second way compared to that first way when you say, when you say like, uh, when you write an entire novel praising yourself in your resume or wherever on, on your LinkedIn profile, let's say, but there's no trace of any activity. Like you've not even taken an effort 
to ask a single question or even put a post-it like a single graph and try to analyze it on your LinkedIn or wherever.